Now YouTubers, today we're going to talk about sender units. Now what I mean by sender unit is the gauge in your car how you much fuel you've got. Um, this is basically what controls it. Now when that gauge isn't working, you've got three problems really that could be causing it. One is your sender unit. These are obviously two different send units out of two different cars. The other could be the actual clock on your dash. That could actually, the actual fuel gauge on your dash could be faulty. And the next one could be the wires between the uh, two. Now, the way I always do it is I always check, sorry, and the fuse as well, sorry, the fuse. I always check the fuse first because that's the easiest thing to do. The next easiest thing to do is check the sender unit and it's very simple all you need is a, a multimeter now I have a very cheap multimeter here you put it onto your ohm setting now what is important is you need to know what ohms your send unit is and you can easily find that on the internet every car is slightly different so I'm not going to go into that but I'm just going to show you once you find that you can test it now this one's out of a Toyota Avensis and this one is out of a Freelander so Basically, you need to find your connections at the top where, you, where the plug goes in and you need to find the wires that connects to your send unit. Not the wires, in this case, because there's a pump inside here, not the wires connect to the pump. This one um, has a pump on the engine so it doesn't have a pump internally here. And basically, when you put your wires on to the, onto the connections, you'll see, now, you'll see my gauge has gone to, hopefully you can see that, 0.71. Now I've got to try and hold this. Now as you can see I've got 0.7 it's kind of going up and down. So as I move this up slowly, as you can see the numbers are changing. Like I said, I'm not going to go into the numbers yet because you need to find out what ohms your send unit is. But basically what you're looking for is the numbers to, to rise as you lift it up. As you can see that and you can see it's changing the reading. That's what you're looking for. Now, <clears throat> if you can't get it on the plug, you can actually go into the wires and you can earth it from the actual wires where it clips onto the board. You see the little circuit board here. Hopefully that's gonna come up through. You see the little circuit board here where this basically reads and you can connect the wires directly on there if you can't find them. Again, I'll make sure this one might be a little bit clearer. Put the light on. Now, if we can see the actual runner on there, and that's you can actually the two connections are actually here on the side, so you can actually put you, your tester to them rather than going to the top of the plug. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. But one thing you do want to be careful of if you test, if you test it directly at the actual sender unit. You also want to test at the wires because it could be working here and not working at the top plug. So it could actually be the plug that's faulty. So you want to check everything basically because you could think oh it's working but it's not working here so then you, you look at another problem and you're never going to find it because it's actually here. So it's always good to check all the connections just so you definitely know you got it right. So anyway on this one Again, the fuel unit, the, the fuel gauge on the car is, is completely down. So when I do the same thing again, now I'm going to try and do this. Oh, you can see it's very tricky on here. I'm just going to put my test leads in again and show you what happens with this one. Now, so as you can see, my test leads are in. We're reading 0.3 or 0.4 or 0.38 anyway, it doesn't really matter. But as you can see, as I move this, absolutely nothing is happening. It's just going back to low and that should be going up, obviously, and it just isn't. See, it's, it's gone low there, that's low. So... We now know this particular unit is faulty and if you actually look really closely on the track where the little bar slides up and down you can see where it's all worn away. So again, it's faulty. So that's how we know that this unit is faulty. 
Now this particular car, you buy a second hand one or a new one, it's just a couple of bolts, a couple of screws in there, it pops out, you change your unit, take out this plug, bang it back in and you'll have a working fuel gauge. So that's it, simple as that. Hope that helps and don't forget, thumbs up and subscribe to the videos. Don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one.